Kontynuując naszą wycieczkę po sali 8.0 targów Pro Light and Sound, natrafiliśmy na stoisko EAW, a obok mnie Bernie Broderick, Technical Training Manager z firmy EAW. Hello Bernie. Hi. Uh, this is the latest and the newest product of EAW, right? Yes, it is. Could you say a few words about this one? Uh, this would be our EAW's new flagship Pro Touring system. It's called Anya. Uh, it's not an acronym, it's actually a real name. Uh, we gave it a human name. And uh, it's a new type of technology, it's what we call adaptive performance. Uh, basically, the system hangs in the straight columns to, uh, to present horizontal coverage for the audience, but the vertical directivity, the control of the system over the audience is all done through DSP, through our, our computer uh, software called Resolution. So you create a room model, you deploy Anya into the venue and then the software determines the proper directivity of the system without ever having to angle or physically shape the system in the vertical path. Okay, uh, this has a very unique shape, right? Yes. And this effects in? Yes, so basically each column, again, it hangs straight when you fly it in the, into the venue. Each one of the enclosures has 14 high frequencies. Uh, that are all controlled independently with their own amplifier channel, their own DSP channel. There is six five-inch mid-range devices, three on either side of the HF. Again, each one has its own amplifier and its own DSP channel. And then two 15s on the outsides that again are all powered and controlled independently. So in each enclosure you have 22 components, which gives you 22 channels of DSP and 22 channels of amplifiers. This gives us a very high uh, resolution of devices that we can then go in with our DSP and our software and through uh, correction algorithms we can manipulate the wavefront to cover just about any audience geometry we want. The shape of the system is a form follows function. So uh, we have coplanar symmetry, highs are in the middle, flanked by the mids, flanked by the lows, and this single cabinet uh, in a single column will give you 70 degrees of horizontal coverage. The vertical coverage of a single box can be anywhere from 180 degrees down to whatever you require for the venue on a single box. So then you can add more columns so we can come around and we could shape much like the logo um, you can add uh, additional columns to create more horizontal coverage the software, the resolution software, then looks at the venue as a full three-dimensional problem and resolves it both in the horizontal and in the vertical to best make the wavefront that's going to match that particular audience geometry. Uh, one of the interesting features in the, uh, in the electronics inside of the enclosure is the inclusion of this internal logging uh, button right here. So it's battery operated, uh, you don't need to have the cabinet plugged in, but basically what happens is, is as the system is running during a performance, the uh, software is constantly monitoring the performance of the system. Since it's all self-contained DSP uh, amplifiers, everything is uh, internal, it's able to self-monitor. If you have a failure of a component, whether it's an amplifier channel or a, maybe a driver that stops functioning uh, while the system's in operation, once you bring the system down and you press the test button, that light will be red. And what this means is that it's an indicator that you should network into the enclosure with the software, uh, go into the error report, and it will tell you what fault occurred during the last performance. Of course, if you drop the system down and all the buttons continue to remain green, then that means that there were no errors reported and uh, you can continue on. Another unique feature with Anya is that if you do have a failure of components during a show, the, uh, the error will get duplexed back to the computer that's hooked up to the system and tell you that something's failed. It will also then give you the option to repair the failure. What that means is that if you had, a, let's say and as an example, a couple of high frequency devices that failed, the, uh, the DSP and the software will recalculate new parameters for the system that will open up the directivity of the devices surrounding the ones that have stopped working to fill in the hole that would exist if those failures, uh, if those components had stopped. Also on the, uh, on every side of the amplifier module, 
you will see these little discs. And what these little discs are at all four corners are infrared sensors. Uh, one on the top, one on the bottom, one on either side. When you physically assemble the sound system and fire it up, apply AC power, all of these infrared sensors talk to each other and feed the information back to the software and tell the software what the shape of the system is. So if we were to do a 12 column and a 8 column and a 4 column, when we physically assemble that system and power it up, all of these infrared sensors will feed information back to the software saying, I already know what the shape of the system is because I know who my neighbor is, either ab above me, below me, or beside me. So for that reason, when you do the modeling, you don't have to assign a cabinet to the model, you just assign the whole array to either the left or right side or wherever the uh, array happens to be hanging. Uh, greatly speeds up the process of, uh, uh, of uh, creating the model. Uh, so, um, is it already available or when will it be? It is available. We've been shipping. We launched the system about nine months ago in Orlando, Florida. Uh, we did a big event there where we showed the system's capabilities. So, we have been uh, building and shipping. I believe there's about eight systems that have already been shipped uh, worldwide, but it's still very, very new. One of our main focuses now is uh, we're being, being very proactive with reaching out to front of house engineers. So we've, obviously we know what's important. We need to get uh, engineers in front of the system, mix on it. We've done events where we bring in Pro Tools and consoles and Anya so that they could set up with their own show files. They can mix on the system and, and form their own opinions on the uh, performance of the system. There's a huge amount of technology that goes into this system, as you obviously know. But at the end of the day, for the mixing engineer, it's a big black lump on either side of the stage that really has to sound good. And, and at the end of the day, that's what we've designed. Even with all of the electronics and everything we do, the system is very user friendly and it mix very well and it sounds very good. So we do a lot of these events where we get people to come and mix on the PA. We want you to mix on the system because then you'll truly understand uh, how capable it is. But yeah, it's been about nine months it's been released and, uh, and we continue to build and ship every month. Uh, Anya is a very popular uh female name in Poland. Is it? Yeah. It, it is, it's not an acronym. It, we just used the name Anya because we wanted to give the system a, a human type of feel because of, of all of the things it can do. Um, so it was really funny because when I did a search and, and Anya apparently is uh, the uh, female Russian spy in The Spy Who Loves Me, a James Bond movie. Uh, so it was really interesting that it did end up being a very popular female with, uh, um, oh shoot, what was her name? Barbara Bach, and and it's and it's a Russian uh, spy, and the system is black with the red stripes. Not me saying there's any association. It was just funny that the the way it all kind of panned out. And I thought it would be fun for us to actually uh, create a Facebook page for Anya that would show uh, Barbara Bach's image, and we could answer technical questions as if it was coming from a female and. You know, just kind of have some fun with it. We'll see. We'll see if they uh, they want to do something like that. <laughs> and so I guess there will be a huge popularity. Thank you very much, Bernie, for your conversation. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it.